walking to and from an area to get tools or drop off materials may seem like the norm, but in reality, it is transportation waste. In this lecture, we will look at the waste of transportation. And by the end of this lecture, you will know what the waste of transportation is, what some of the more common causes of this type of waste are, and we'll review some general solutions. Transportation waste is any unnecessary movement of materials or information, and it is not the same as motion waste. One of the key differences is that transportation occurs between process steps and workstations rather than within them. Although people may need to move to get supplies, tools, or other items, the difference can be found in that the waste of transportation is focused on the moving of stuff, while waste of motion is focused on movement of people. Let's remember that for something to add value, it must transform, be done correctly the first time, and someone must be willing to pay for it. With this in mind, transporting materials may be necessary, but it adds no value. Since transportation does not transform materials or information, we must be aware that most forms of transportation are MUDA. There are some cases where a customer is willing to pay for delivery. Is this value added? Most logistics can only be considered value added to a value stream if the inventory is strategically placed to achieve sales. A customer is willing to pay for it and it is delivered correctly. Even still, one must ask, is this business necessary or value added? In most cases, customers will say it is necessary, but they did not want to pay. Keep in mind that strategic setup of inventory in locations that provide adequate delivery are rather expensive and in fact, any inventory which does not support the needed customer demand is considered waste. There are many different examples of transportation waste in your handouts. Let's look at one for materials and one for information. First we see a worker with a loaded forklift transporting materials. Notice no value is being added and nothing is being transformed. As such, this is waste. Now let's look at an email. The email is drafted and the information is transported to an inbox. The transportation of information does not transform anything, so it is not value added. In some cases, people may be focused on how serious transportation waste is. They use measuring wheels, calculate times, and use other methods that may not be the most productive. Let's be clear, waste is waste. When you see it, you should remove it. Let's now look at some of the general causes of transportation waste and a few possible solutions. Reducing transportation waste requires us to look at different ways of functioning and completing tasks. This oftentimes requires us to break cultural norms and reveal things we may not see from day to day. While there are many different ways to solve or minimize the waste of transportation, some of the more common methods of correction that can be applied to the waste of transportation include the following. Visualize your value stream. One very common method of revealing the waste of transportation is to map the value stream out for the product, family, or process. This can help you to visualize waste and to take the necessary actions to reduce or remove unnecessary transportation. Some other ways to visualize your value stream can be done by mapping the material and information flow, recording a video, or walking the value stream at the Gemba and taking notes. Another approach when looking to remove transportation waste within your organization that is often avoided is moving from a functional type layout to a cellular environment. The cell type layout can help to establish flow and keep supplies near the point of use. 
In fact, moving materials to the point of use can be a solution in itself, which oftentimes requires no investment other than time to move the materials. Cellular layouts can be established in shops, offices, and many other industries. Another element is the cost element that many organizations incur as a result of logistics that are poorly designed. Please note though, when seeking to reduce costs related to logistics, it is best not to just factor the line haul costs, but to look at the total cost of ownership. Once this analysis has been done, some options like using a 3PL or 4PL partners may be a profitable way of reducing costs and utilizing your resources for core competencies. Lower batch sizes. One very practical way to reduce the waste of transportation is to lower your batch sizes. Lots and batches oftentimes require mechanization to move the batch. This can be an expensive investment and oftentimes forces people to wait for machines to move the batch. When batch sizes are smaller, they are easier and safer for people to move. Use shared information points. Another very overlooked form of transportation waste is the transportation of information. For example, emailing an attachment. When a document is emailed, it is transported digitally. Other methods like shared documents and tagging features pull a user directly to the information. This not only reduces transportation waste, but it reduces the amount of information inventory. One of the most common platforms used is Google Workspace. As you can see, transportation waste is often not very obvious until you really understand what to look for. Nonetheless, this form of waste can be a killer and will oftentimes require you to innovate solutions of your own. In the coming assignments, you will be challenged to find solutions for each form of waste. So, go catch your breath from all that transportation and we will see you in the next lecture.